Today we're going to discuss setting up the gyro system in our new GR12 version 2 firmware. Uh, in advance of this video, I've already set up the phases. I'll show those to you. The normal phase will not be used. In line 2, we have the zero or gyro off mode. We have the one or gyro on mode. We have two heading lock and three ray mode. And we've assigned switch seven to turning the gyro off entirely and switch one to switching between gyro on, which is a normal gyro function, or heading lock or rate mode. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna go into the base menu. And we're gonna to go to control set. And we need to go to the screen that shows us channels 11 and channels 12. First thing I want to do is I want to add a slider to channel 12. So I've selected none and I'm going to move the slider. And the slider is now assigned to channel 12. The <coughs> slider needs to be assigned in all modes and it is. So we're in good, good shape there. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fiddle with channel 11 so that it switches on and off the different modes. Okay, so what we're going to do in the gyro off mode, which is I'm going to now, is we're going to put an offset on channel 11 of minus 100. Now we're going to switch to the gyro on mode and we're going to put an offset on channel 11 of minus 50. And then we're going to go to heading lock mode and we're going to put in no offset, that's perfect, and then in rate mode we're going to put an offset on channel 11 of plus 60. And that's done. So we've set some offsets for each of the phases. You see channel 11 changes. Okay, and then if I flip, minus 100. So we've set an offset on channel 11 for the three phases. We're going to use channel 11 to control the actual receiver's functions. So going back now, we're going ahead and we're going to go to telemetry and we're going to go to setting and data view. I'm going to press the enter button so I can get to the right screen. And we are in the correct screen for gyro settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press set. Okay, and if it registers, I have now a yellow zero on mode for the aileron elevator. And now we're going to use the increase decrease buttons to assign channel 11. Okay, press set. I'm also going to use the same channel to control the mode for the rudder. Press set. set. So now I've signed channel 11 to control the, the modes of the gyro. And if I flip the switch, you can see I'm going mode 3, mode 2, mode 1, and mode 0, which is gyro off. Next thing we want to do is we want to go down and set the coefficient, which is equal to the gain. So I'm going to increase the cursor until I get the carrot down to coefficient, okay? And you can see that the coefficient here has the carrot in front of it. I'm going to press set. And we're going to use channel 12, that slider we assigned, to actually increase or decrease the gain as we're flying. I'm going to 
use channel 12 here. We now have channel 12 set. And now if I move the slider, you will see the gain will change with the slider movement up to 200 and all the way to zero. In the middle of the slider is 100%. So now we've set channel 11 to control both the mode for the aileron elevator function and the mode for the rudder. Okay, again I'm going to show that to you. Flipping, flip, flip channels off, so or two, one, two, and three. So now we can move the modes for each of the control surfaces using a single switch and we can increase the gain using the slider on 12. So I'm going to go ahead and go back now and back and back and now you will see that when I flip the switch I also see I'm in rate mode, I'm in heading lock mode and I'm in gyro on mode and if I flip switch 7 which will turn everything off, gyro off and we're there. So what we've done then is we've set up slider 2 on channel 12 to control the gain for the gyro and we've set up some phases to control the mode of the gyros. And that's all we need to do for today. Whenever you set up gyros be sure to start with the gain off or low and increase the gain until you get desired, desired results. If you get flutter back off on the gain. This is a great way to test each of the functions and to adjust them while you're flying.